Right, welcome. This is a, just a quick video explaining basically what comes in our rusty paint kits. But before I start, I'm going to ask if you can like, subscribe, maybe share this video, even drop a comment at the bottom. Um, we'll pick some random people to win some merch. We've got t-shirts, hats, um, key rings, all sorts of stuff. So yeah, share, do what you can and we'll pick some people at random. Um, this is obviously just a basic video just to kind of explain what you receive in a kit. And obviously it'll be packed a bit better than this, <laughs> but this is basically it. Um, and inside that kit, you will have a tin of paint. Now that's your tin of paint. There's some instructions on the tin. So you have your tin of paint. You will have a hardener, which is also paint. And um, it's obviously labelled. That goes with that. You will have a activator bottle. Now normally these are shipped with the trigger sprayer separate. So if it's a white trigger sprayer, you may have to just look around the box a bit because some customers have found it kind of blends in with the uh, packing peanuts that we use. So yeah, just look for that. It will be in there. Sometimes they're a different colour. If they're black, they stand that easy, but the, the white ones don't. Um, you will also have this suspect looking package. Uh, it's nothing kind of dodgy, but it is the activator powder. And I'll explain how that's used in a moment. And then there may be some merchandise in there. Um, this one, we've got a free key ring, uh, a free window sticker. Um, so they look really good kind of on windows. All kind of metal work. And they're a three to five year vinyl, so you've got plenty of time to kind of use them. So that's the kit. Obviously, packet peanuts were used by the so these can just be chucked under water. As long as they're the white ones, they can be chucked under water and they'll dissolve and go down the drain nicely because um, they're made from starch. So we'll get rid of that. Right, so I'm going to explain the kit sizes and how they're different. Now you'll always get kind of this, but obviously the tins of paint will be bigger. So this is a 250ml kit. The 500ml, which is an X size up, is obviously double the amount of coloured paint which will be in a single tin and you will get two hardly bottles. The one litre which is an excise up from the 500ml will be a bigger tin again and you'll have four of these bottles and then we do a three litre and we do a five litre kit and those are basically made up of separate single litre kits put together so for each one of those it will be again one litre and four of these bottles. Now the reason for that is quite simple there's two reasons. Firstly if, you were to, if we were to ship this out of these two parts mixed together, by the time you get it, it would be nice and hard like this. Now, this is a really, really good um, paint. It's extremely flexible. As you can see, it dries solid. It's not like a normal paint. We've got copycat companies that are trying to copy the paint. They're not copying it well because this is what our paint's like when it's, uh, when it's dried. And the thing is, it's ultra flexible, as you can see. Um, I mean, if I rip it, you'll see that it's not like flaky paint. So if we were to put that in there, then <laughs> you wouldn't be happy if this arrived to you. It's a different story once it's on your vehicle or whatever you're painting, um, but you would not be happy. So that's why it's put separately. Additionally, the reason why it's in small bottles is we've pretty worked out the uh, mixing ratio for you. So you don't need to worry. You don't need to get your mixing cups um, and try and work out however many millilitres or a 10 percentage or whether it's a four to one, a three to one, a five to one. You don't need to worry about that. What you need to worry about is you've got that tin, you've got one of them, you mix the two together and you just crack on with your painting. So the one, uh, the, the smallest kit, um, obviously avoiding the testers, the smallest kit is the 250 mil, which is this, with the one hardener. So if you were to use this all in one go, you would just add the hardener into the top, mix it and apply the paint. Uh, funny, funny quote, we do have the odd customer now that will just open this tin and be like, oh, there's a bit of paint missing, I'm really angry, you've not filled the tin up to the top. Um, and we do have to obviously advise that the whole point of that is to take the lid off, tip this in, mix it, and there's your full tin of paint. So that's that, uh, the mixing ratio has already worked out. The only problem is if you want to paint something smaller and you don't want to use the tin, we have also worked that out for you. Um, if you were to use half of the tin, you just roughly tip out half by eye into an old mixing cup, an old container. Again, only by eye, you would use half of what's in there. And then you would just simply divide that by half. So you would, if you want to do it, you can draw a line on the bottle, roughly about half, or just do it by eye like we do. Tip that out, reseal them, and then you can store them away. 
and because they're separate from each other they're not going to harden and you can use what you need to use. Now the bigger the kits, again it's the same process, so a 200, uh, sorry, a 500ml kit which is twice the size of this, you would have two of these bottles. If you're going to use half of the 500ml, you would use half of whatever the bottles are, so in theory that would be one bottle. You can divide it up into smaller amounts if you want, you can divide that into four sections and just use one quarter of that, which is obviously that divided by four. So the mix is very easy. Uh, we're always on call if you do have any questions via that by YouTube, which obviously you can comment below. Um, our Facebook page, we also run a Facebook group, which is uh, rustypaint.com, hints, tips and tricks. Brilliant amount of customers on there. Uh, they do share all their products all the time. Cool tips and tricks that we haven't even thought of get shared on there. Our customers' products. So there's always people to help. You can obviously contact us via email um, and the Facebook page. And obviously our website so there's no kind of excuse of just to go in uh, with it if you are questioning it we're always here to help uh, made it as simple as possible but sometimes it's always too, too simple and you just want to just clarify something um, or you second guess yourself so just hit us up always happy to help i'd rather help someone do it than them to kind of worry about something so that's kind of explained um, there are again instructions on the back but the kind of mixing process is very simple. If you are decanting uh, a small amount, make sure this is mixed thoroughly before doing so. Um, and also make sure this is mixed thoroughly before adding any hardener, even if it's a full amount. So the mixing is ultra simple. Kit sizes, regardless whether it's 250 ml to five litre, um, you will get this activator, but it will just get substantially bigger. We pre-worked that out for you. Um, the way this is, done when you come to the activation stage is you add a bit of this and it says on the instructions one tablespoon per spray bottle so you can just cut a small hole in it and tip it in and roughly a tablespoon's worth again we've done everything so it's just by eye or you can just measure it out with a tablespoon um, but make sure you thoroughly clean the tablespoon afterwards and um, because you're not going to want to have this on your cereals in the morning um, so you tip that into there. If you're using a bigger bottle, which we find some like this sort of size, it's going to be a bit of a pain really to go around with the squirt bottle we supply. It's not impossible, but it just it's obviously going to need a lot more refilling. The ratio is that is a 250 ml bottle, so there'll be roughly around 250 ml of water, and a tablespoon to that is obviously one tablespoon per 250 ml of water. So you can just work out if you're going to use a half litre of water, you put two tablespoons in, a litre of water, four tablespoons and so on. So you can get like a real big spray bottle like the pump action one that we'll use for um, the van that we're going to be painting in the next video. Well, one of the next videos we'll show you a bigger bottle, but all kits will come with a small one. So uh, that's that, that's the kit. Now we're going to go on to the tools for how you can apply the paint.